back. Yeah. Give me a sec. Yours. Ah, works great. Right. When you get done fooling around, I can use some help. Uh, did I do something wrong? Because the only thing I regret about you and me not knowing you were a spook when we first met. I would have been a lot less charming. That's what I missed most about you, Buck. Well, your mouth was always getting faster than your brain. Look, don't start about my job. We both agreed to end it. That was years ago, Veronica. I'm a little fuzzy on it. <clears throat> Details. Must have met a lot of other saps since then. Why pick me for the safari? First, you're the best soldier I know, and second, you still don't remember that night? What you asked me in the morning? I remember not getting an answer. Say again, Buck. You're breaking up. I said stay put. I'm on my way. Yeah, here's the review for Halo 3 ODST, the long-awaited addition to the series, or just to the Halo 3 series itself. I don't know if there'll be another one. I know there's going to be Halo Reach, but whatever. This is the intro, even though I do have a game intro where it says, uh, 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 and then go to a movie guy, then it goes to a clip, and then it goes to the intro, and then it goes to the review. I know, right? I have like five intros in the beginning. Well, anyway, this is the intro. Let me go on to story. Okay, and a story for Halo 3 ODST is actually really good. I'm surprised because, I mean, I like the story in Halo 1 and Halo 2 and Halo 3, but obviously they grew a little bit like, uh, what the hell's going on? I'm kind of confused. Uh, I mean, I'm a little confused, but I guess I can accept it. Uh, I still like the story. I, l I love the story in Halo 1 because, it, you know, it was the beginning. It wasn't all this profit, regret, flood shit, all that kind of stuff. I, they didn't have that. It was all, It was simple. There's a ring there, it's destroying shit, we have to destroy it. Pretty much, that's it. And then they brought all this shit like, oh, I'm regret, I love you. And, uh, it, this keeps it pretty simple. All it is is the rookie looking for his ODST members while saving this girl. They also try to save this other thing, I don't want to really uh, say, you know, I don't want to say what it is because it kind of ruins it, but they also have to save this other thing that uh, they need to do stuff with. So, yeah, I'll just say it right there. Uh, so, yeah, you pretty much... Looking for other people with clues, you look for clues and stuff, like, oh, here's someone's gun, uh, where, like, it's like the dead zone, you touch it and then you can see where they were and, and their future and stuff, it's weird. Uh, so yeah, you go to a flashback and stuff, most of the time, like, if you touch uh, some guy's gun, then you go to flashback and see how his gun got there, pretty much. I like the story, it's really good, I'll just keep it short, well, it's not short, but I'll keep it like that, it's really good. Okay, now the sound, I'm going to keep this quick. I don't know the girl's name in this, but she's also from Firefly. Uh, Nathan Fillion is from Firefly also. He's very good. He even looks like him. It even looks like him in the game, which is kind of weird a little bit, uh, but kind of cool also. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, the voice acting's good, of course. The soundtrack is awesome, just like in a any Halo game. If you don't like Halo, you have to admit, that freaking song is badass. Oh, your mother... Anyway, uh, yeah, it's a badass soundtrack. If you don't like it, then fuck off. You don't know nothing about music. You probably listen to all that rap shit. Anyway. Okay, now the graphics for Halo 3 ODST are actually really good. Uh, some people have a problem with the character models. I didn't think they were bad. That well, I didn't think they were that bad. I thought they were kind of iffy, but still pretty good for Halo standards. Because Halo 3 had some really bad character models in some parts, and some really good ones when it got to the really cool cutscenes. Because I mean, Halo 3 was obviously the more anticipated game of these two. If I said uh, which one is more anticipated, Halo 3 ODST or Halo ODST? Obviously Halo 3, because Halo 3 had to come out first. But if I asked anybody, they would probably say Halo 3, because it's Halo 3, not Halo 3 ODST. An expansion pack everybody thinks you shouldn't buy. Anyway, the graphics are really good. There we go. The environments are great. The effects are great. The aliens look, well, the Covenant look great, all that. Character models look a little iffy, but I like them, whatever. Okay, now the gameplay. I'm going to try to make this short and quick. Firefight mode is really fun. 
I like it only if you have friends that aren't like, oh, you suck at this game. Eh, I don't want to play with you. If you don't have, if you have friends that are like that, then don't play this with them. Play it by yourself, or maybe play with a friend, invite them over or something. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun mode, very fun mode, cool addition to this, but not something I'll keep coming back to, to be honest. Uh, also, it comes with obviously the multiplayer, and the multiplayer is great as always. It comes with new maps. The new maps are actually pretty decent. I actually like them. Uh, Citadel. Uh, Heretic, which is a remake of Midship, which I'm not really digging on, to be honest, because Midship wasn't my favorite. Uh, Headlong was, if you don't know what Headlong is, it's uh, the city one from Halo 2. Oh my god, I love that freaking map. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, they need to bring that one back. Then Not, not Heretic, not, not Midship, come on. And uh, Longshore, which is uh, pretty much a capture flag map. Yeah, so yeah, the multiplayer is, of course, great if you like Halo. If you don't like Halo, then don't play this game. Pretty much plain and simple. Even though there's new weapons like the Silence SMG and the, the newly upgraded pistol, f pretty much from uh, the first uh, Halo, and of course visor mode, and that you're not Master Chief, that you die quicker, it's a little more challenging, and it's also kind of short, it's almost as short as Halo 3, maybe not as short, but still. Anyway, it's still a good experience, I'll, I'll probably play it three times over, and that'll probably be it for me. Uh, Halo 3 ODST is a really fun game, I'll just do it right here, the entertainment and all. It's a very fun game if you like Halo. If you don't, then I don't think you should get it. But if you don't, if you're kind of like Halo and not really much into it, I still think you should at least give it a rental, or get buy it and really like try to dig into it and like it because you get all the multiplayer maps and all that stuff. So yeah, definitely at least at least check it, at least rent it and play the ODST. If you don't like the multiplayer, then don't get don't buy it. Pretty much. Just rent it. That's all I have to say. Thank you and oh check oh the score is in the side description. All right, I love Halo, people. I'm just saying that. So if you look at it, and it's like a nine. Don't don't complain or a four point five out of ten out of five. Then don't complain and cry like little bitches. All right. I like Halo. Okay. You can like Killzone and all that stuff. I can like Halo. All right. So calm down, people. <laughs> Oh, nuts. Whoa! What the heck was that? You ever seen one before? Hey, Romeo, you got your ears on? Oh, I get it. Permission to speak, smartass. No, I don't know what it was, but it was gonna grease your ass good. Just like it did the captain. Yeah, maybe. You're from Mickey, Dutch? Negative. The rookie. We need to get above this crap. Link with the B net. One of our drones must have seen where they hit. So we're popping smoke in the lady's mission? She ever tell you what she wanted? No. Never. Doesn't matter. All I care about now is getting my men out of this city. Even you. <laughs> 